Banker. How did I introduce it to my class this year? Banker is a free app, especially made to teach financial literacy to Kiwi kids. After hearing about it last year, I started checking it out straight away. Banker is a financial education platform that provides a hands-on environment for teachers and students to engage with financial concepts in a safe and fun way. It motivates and engages your students with class jobs and introduce them to concepts such as income, tax, Kiwi Saver, expenses, and much more, all through a safe online simulation. It's quite tricky in the beginning, as you would normally experience when learning something new and different, but I'm really thankful for the assistance provided by my contact person, and you just need to really use it to get your head around it. So I get to introduce Banker with my class in the beginning of this year. First, I added the students after signing up and creating the class. It was a bit laborious entering the full names of the students and assigning each year level and gender. How I wish that can get better. The second thing to do is helping the kids log in with the username and password. Here's how to print off their details to make it handy for you, especially when you're having young kids who are still struggling to type down and use the computer. By the way, students can change their password and hide it, but if ever they forget it, the teacher can always request a new one. So that's not a problem. In the beginning, the modules are turned off and the teachers can only turn it on as soon as the students are ready to do them. In my class, I showed them the short video first about the basic income before I turn the basic income module on. As soon as students answer all the questions, they get corresponding points after, depending on their accuracy. They were so happy straight away after receiving money on Banker. Some got $50, others got $30 or $40. They were even keen to do the next modules to get more money. And because we ran out of time, we did the next module on expenses the following day. I also then set up their weekly income to 300 and the day it will be paid on. This is to help them pay off their expenses, which is the second module. Similarly, I play the short video on expenses so kids will gain some ideas before answering the questions. Then I turned on the expenses module and they answered them. Again, their answers received corresponding amount. After that, we discussed about possible expenses in class that I could charge them, like Wi-Fi usage, since they're using internet in the classroom, desk rent, electricity, and even tow tray rent. Simply turn on the expenses to move to active status or click edit to change the name and the amount. It's advised not to charge the students more than their income. The kids were so excited to play around clicking on the charity and a few of them were giving unreasonable amount to charity without thinking that it's a regular contribution. Others move all their income to the savings without leaving a considerable amount for their expenses. So we got to discuss about it as they were having overdrafts. Career and employment is a bigger topic that we discuss about it some other time. We watched a short video again on career and employment. I turned on the module and students access them. Again, we discussed what classroom jobs we needed to have. I edited some jobs name, description, and the pay and turned them on to active status so the students will be able to access those jobs in their banker account and apply for employment. They will have to enter details to complete their application, which includes their referees. 
It was really a very good hands-on experience for them as they ask one another if they're happy to be there with Perry. So these are our classroom jobs as of now. But how did I use Banker for class engagement? That's going to be part two.